Coming up on Man vs. Beast. I want you to really try and imagine yourself fighting someone. But you're fighting someone who is four times bigger than you. You have a weapon, but your foe has armour, which makes your only weapon literally useless. They're faster than you, stronger than you, and they can fly. Oh, and their face is basically a giant pair of jaws which can rip your head off in seconds. How are you going to take them down? This sounds like the plot of some sort of alien film, but bees face this actual problem when fighting off the giant murder hornet. Man versus beast. The Asian giant hornet is nicknamed the murder hornet, and you can see why when half their face is made of a giant pair of jaws. The sight of a hornet makes many a grown man run in fear, but Japanese honeybees have found a way to fight them. With a two-inch long body and a three-inch wingspan, the hornet is four times larger than the Japanese honeybee, and the bee's sting can't penetrate the exoskeleton of the hornet. The bees mob the hornet and form what's known as a bee ball. Up to 500 bees swarm around the hornet by braiding their bodies, heating up the inside of the ball to somewhere around 46 degrees. This is lethal to the hornet, but not the bees, with only three to five degrees more being lethal to the bees. There are also very high levels of CO2 and humidity inside the ball, which is also thought to contribute to the hornet's death. The high temperature part lasts about 20 minutes, but it often takes up to an hour before the hornet is killed. This defense is incredibly effective, but only Japanese honeybees have evolved it. European honeybees still attempt to rely on stinging defenses when faced with hornets. And as a result, only 20 to 30 hornet can slaughter a 30,000 bee colony in just a few hours. In round one of Man vs. Bee, the bees took victory with their incredible waggle dancing abilities that man could not replicate. In round two, man wants revenge. So in today's challenge, who will win? Man or bee? I have a temperature probe, which is attached to a data logger which is linked to this device, and it changes in real time. As you can see, it gets hotter, and it is accurate to 0.1 of a degree. As you can see, my Hornet's a little bit beat up from where we used it. The temperature probe goes inside the Hornet, and registers the temperature of the Hornet, and we will ball around it and attempt to heat it up. A hornet to battle. Take up arms. Fight. Prepare yourselves to battle. For the Queen and, and for the Hive!
We were really surprised that we actually managed to raise the temperature inside the Hornet by 5 degrees. This is obviously not a completely accurate comparison to how the bees do it. We spent 2 minutes inside the ball, whereas they would spend 20 minutes to an hour. They obviously have 500 or so bees and they are doing it on something 4 times their size that is fighting back inside. Our Hornet also started at 12 degrees, so there was a more obvious difference as the temperature raised because it was colder. However, I think this was a surprisingly good result for the two minutes that we spent doing the bee ball. I have so many other exciting ideas in my head, like trying to use a Hornet four times the size of a human and us trying to actually bee ball around that. If that's the kind of content you wanna see, Give me a like and a subscribe. I'm really excited to try, so hopefully we'll get there.